KPM News Time, 741. It is Friday morning. It's our favorite day of the week. That is because it is Food Cart Friday, and we have a first this morning, Terry Travis. Yes, we do. A three-time guest for a very special reason. Rod and Christy from Teepee's Fry Bread in Southeast Portland. Welcome back to Food Cart Friday. Thank you. Good Thank morning. You so much. And it's not just our coffee for the comeback, right? Right. That's you a- got good coffee, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, we wanted. Us all you want. Yeah, we wanted you to come on and and just bring folks up to date on what's been going on at your cart because you had uh, quite the incident uh, just about what a little over a week ago. Yeah, tell us right. what happened. Well, on January sixth, we had a, a faulty fryer. When I turned it off to go home, it caught fire. So um, we pretty much had to gut the trailer and redo it all. So. Not a fun experience. <laughs> so, so did the fire then start in the middle of the night? What? Uh, well, what no, it, it started about six thirty. I left at six thirty, um, so I turned it off. By the time I got home, cart owners were calling me, telling me my cart was on fire. So oh, it was man. all within like thirty minutes. Um, so they they got it and put it out real good, so where the trailer is still good, but everything inside was melted and, de- and destroyed. We had to gut it and start over. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, the pictures on Facebook. It, I mean, you don't have to rebuild the cart completely from the ground up, but I would imagine it's it probably feels like it's close. It's, Correct. Yeah. <laughs> so so what's involved in in gutting it? I mean, we're talking new fryers, new new everything, yeah, pretty new, much. New hoods, new fryers, new bowls, new microwaves. I mean, everything was trash. So I mean, it was throw everything away and start over. And all the food. Yeah, all the food, all everything. The food. So. One of the things that uh, we, we just love is to hear the, how the other carts there at the a la carte food part, cart familiar uh, 50th and division have stepped up. They sure have, haven't they? They have. They have. Um, you know, Salon Bucci and Delicious and um, Year of the Fish, Chicken Coop. Um, they just, every one of them has done, uh, they put signs in their windows accepting donations. They've, they're doing a fundraiser for us this Saturday um, from 5 to 7 where they're donating some of their proceeds. It's kind of unusual to, I guess, in the restaurant world, you know, most restaurants don't necessarily shill for another restaurant. Right. But in the food cart community, it's a little different. Yes. Uh, the food cart community, they're just so amazing. I mean, because everybody, it's... It's like a it's, family yeah, there. It's, you know, it's we're, not, we all know each other. We're all friends. You know, we all watch each other's back, help each other out. So it, it, it's nice to be part of that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So so tomorrow, what is the is the, the fundraiser at, at all the carts tomorrow? Yes. It is. So, yes. yeah, they can come and donate at any cart. Come eat at all the other carts. We won't be open, but they can donate at any cart they go to. Will you be there working if they can stop? Yeah. We, we will yes. be there working, <laughs> yes. It's, it looks like from your Facebook page that you've been, it's been pretty much around the clock thing. And you said your, Rod, your dad even came in. Yeah, my dad there. flew out from Denver to help us um, get it rebuilt and a lot of elbow grease, you know. So um, we're, we're thankful for all the friends and family that, that's helped us out and tried to get back going. So. Do you have any guesstimate on when you might be opened up again? We're hoping next week. Oh, yes. wow. Great. Yes. That's fast. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we took out loans to get everything um going you know and we just got to pay back all those loans so yeah which which i imagine is a, is a challenge i mean you you know as a food cart owner the margins are pretty thin right, right. and that's our only yeah. source of income so um we yeah. both work there and that's it so without it we have no income yeah i mean that was my first reaction when i saw the posting on facebook it's like oh man i hope they can rebuild and get back into bu- you know the business because i would imagine you know other carts it, it might not be the case i mean it, it you might be done right right correct so and- yeah there's a there's a GoFundMe effort going on as well, is there not? There yes. is. That is cool. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Um, well, <laughs> you know, it's really hard to to ask for help, especially when it's financial. And so Salon Bucci and a couple of the others said, you know, you need to set up this uh, this fund because we need to be able to, you know, put people to donate. So, yeah, we uh, set up that GoFundMe, and it's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's got to feel awkward because yeah. I mean, when when you're in the business of you know basically making a product and charging people for it and you know and making people happy, it it really there, there's got to be even though you've had this horrible thing happen, there's got to be a certain amount of guilt saying, well, can can you help us just a little more? It, it is. It's it's just really really hard when you work so hard to support yourself 
in your adult life and then something like this happens and you have to humble yourself and and just say look we can't do this alone but on the other hand it's nice to have the people like your customers that are donating to the gofundme that you know you know you know those are your customers that have been there and they want to keep you open Mm -hmm. so they're donating money that that's a good feeling as well yes so for, for folks who may be hearing about TPs for the very first time, we've, we've told them all about what's happened. Oh, Tell yeah. us a little bit about the food. <laughs> we which, forgot that which, part. Which, which, which has been the, the showcase of the, the last two times you've been on the show. Yes, and obviously absolutely. you were able to bring the food this morning. Well, but, the, you know, by, by next week, hopefully folks will be enjoying it right. again. Yes. Teepees is a Native American-inspired food. You know, it's the fry bread, like elephant ears kind of, with powdered sugar. It's the Indian tacos. You know, it's just all the Native kind of food that... They don't have in Portland, so we're the only ones. And Yeah, but be sure and mention that it's not overly sweet and it won't make your teeth ring like some of those <laughs> fry bread elephant ear things you pick up at right. the doughy. Uh, yeah, and ours isn't as greasy no. and it's light and fluffy. It's and, so good. And it's yeah. savory, too. It is yes. savory, too, yes. Absolutely. The Indian tacos, what the was, popovers. What was the one we had last time? I can't even remember now. Uh, it had a great name. Sloppy Weenie. Yes. That's <laughs> 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 Tim just didn't want to say that. I know. You can hear me blushing and on the radio. And he is blushing. That, he is blushing. That, that's my favorite one to call out when it's ready, too. So. Delicious, though. It really is. Yes. Well, well, thanks, guys, so much for coming in. We're, we're sorry it's under these circumstances, but we're not embarrassed about asking people to help you. Mm-hmm. No. Thank you. We appreciate it. Bother it. us. No. Guys. And uh, we'll put all the information up on our Facebook page, uh, TP's Fry Bread Fundraiser. What time's the fundraiser tomorrow? 5 to 7 p.m. Okay, out at uh, see, 50th and Division. Mm-hmm. Correct. Uh, a la carte food pavilion. Mm-hmm. There All right. you go. Thanks, guys, for coming in. We look Thank forward you. to having you on for a fourth time when you're back in business. Awesome. All right. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Rod and Christy from TP's Fry Bread with us here on Food Cart Friday. KPM News Time 748. This Day in Oregon History is next.